it's Gobstopper Day. Gobstoppers are more commonly known as jawbreakers. And in fact, they didn't really become gobstoppers until Roald Dahl's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory was released in 1964. In the book, he refers to Everlasting Gobstoppers as the name of a jawbreaker. And in 1976, a candy with the actual name Gobstoppers was created. So the main feature of a gobstopper is this multi-layered candy. And a little known fact is that this layering process is pretty intricate and takes time and effort and can actually result in a low-grade explosive if not done carefully. In fact, it's the heating and the layering that turns it into like a pressure differential between the layers and can cause it to rupture, burst open, kind of like a mini explosion. And apparently there was actually an episode of Mythbusters where they actually tested this out. Now, today's methods of creating these gobstoppers make that a lot less likely to happen, but it's still possible. Anyone who knows me knows that I have the taste buds of a 10-year-old. I absolutely adore Willy Wonka candies. Bottle caps, gobstoppers, nerds, runts, those are my favorite candies. And I know that's kind of weird for an adult, but those are my favorites. Anyway, I was excited to see this day on the calendar. I was like, I'm going to go out and get a box of gobstoppers. No. Three stores. Three stores I went to. No gobstoppers. I ended up having to buy a bag of mixed Halloween candy in order to get the gobstoppers for this day. I don't know what the deal is. I mean, usually they're pretty easily accessible. I find them pretty much anywhere I go. But of course, since today is the day, I can't find them. And I find it hard to believe that there was a big run on them because of this day, because I doubt anyone even knows about this day. So here they are, the fruit of my three-store mission. Hope you have better luck than I did.